Tom Dunn here on November 6, 2019. This is the second video in my series of videos on setting up my battery slash solar backup power system for my house. Today I'm going to be doing the actual wiring of the transfer switch to the main and secondary panels. And we'll go through the procedure. The very first thing that I want to do is connect up the neutral which is this white wire, and ground, which is this green wire, to the neutral and ground buses in the panel. On these panels, neutral and ground are common. They go, go to the same bus, so I just have to find some open connection points and wire these up. So that's relatively straightforward. So we're going to start out and do ground first. I'm just going to get the wire straightened out so it's over there. And I have two uh, buses, one on either side. I'm going to go to this side so I just have to get the wire to the appropriate and cut it to the appropriate length for where I want to go. And that looks like about there. So we will cut it off. And now I'm going to uh, strip the wire. Ah, this stripper isn't the world's best stripper. And at this point, I'm going to open up a connection on the uh, neutral ground bus bar. And I'm sorry I have to get in front of this, but uh, there's really no other way. And let's see, I'll use this one. Now, I'll run the wire over and feed it in there. And before I start fooling with this, I'm going to turn the main breaker off. So that now the only power to the system is on these two points up here, which come in from the utility. So now we'll go over here, put this in, okay, that's in, so that's ready to go. So I just have to repeat that with the neutral wire. Okay, so at this point, I have neutral and ground connected, so I can start wiring circuits. Now before I wire any circuits, I have to uh, decide what I'm going to put where, because uh, this is a 220 volt system, and the uh, transfer switch is divided up into the two 110 volt or 120 volt legs of the 220 240 volt system. And I want to balance the load so approximately half of the load is on one uh, 110 120 volt leg and half of the load is on the other 110 120 volt leg. And the transfer switch tells you which circuits correspond to those. So the first thing I'm going to do is my well, which is the only 220 volt circuit. I'm going to put onto the transfer switch. And I'm going to put the well on circuits A and B from the transfer switch. And the well happens to be this breaker right here. The way we wire this is we disconnect the wires from the circuit breaker. And then we take the red wires for circuits A and B from the transfer switch and cut them to length, strip them, and attach them to the circuit breaker. Once that's done, we will take the black light wires labeled A and B, and we will cut them to length, strip them, and wire nut them to the wires we removed from the circuit breaker. So I'm going to do this one circuit at a time. I'm going to do A first, 
and then I'm going to do B so I don't get anything confused and wire the wires you know, backwards. So that's fairly straightforward and the procedure is pretty easy. Basically, uh, I'll just measure the wires to length, cut them, disconnect the wire from the circuit breaker, put the wire, one of the appropriate wire, red wire here, into the circuit breaker, tighten it up, and then do the, the same with the black wire for that circuit. And I've made a list of all the circuits that I want to do and which uh, transfer switch circuits they correspond to and which breakers they are and which panel they're in. So that's uh, basically all there is to it. It's going to be a little repetitive, but we'll see what we can do. I'm going to try and set the camera up so maybe you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay, let's start with circuit A. So we'll take the wire for circuit A, and these wires are all labeled. Circuit A is this one. I'm going to run it, measure it, and get it to length. And go up to breaker number one. So that's about there. So we'll cut this to length. And strip it. Now, just for safety's sake, I'll turn that breaker off so that uh, I have sort of double redundancy. Now, we're going to disconnect the first wire here. And we'll put this wire aside for now so it's out of the way. We will take this wire, the red wire for circuit A, feed it up here, feed it behind some of these other wires to make it as neat as possible and feed it into the circuit breaker. Here we go. that's in there. Now I'm going to take wire, the black wire labeled A, which is this one, I believe. Yes it is. Bend this wire down. Get this one cut to length so it's up here. Up there. Strip it. Now I'm going to use the wire tie to assemble this. The wire ties came with the uh, transfer switch. This in here, like that, up like that. Okay, and get that tucked out of the way. Okay, circuit A is now connected, and I just have to repeat that for the other leg of this 220 circuit using the wires from circuit B. Sorry I had to stand in front of it, but there literally is no place to stand. 
Okay, let's do circuit B now. So the procedure is very simple. I'll loosen up the circuit breaker. Pull out the wire. And set it aside. Get circuit B here. Yep. Run it over here. Get it to length. there. Cut it off. Now we'll do the black wire for B, which is here. Be sure. Yep. Run it over for length. Up and back down about there. Cut it off. Strip it. the two wires together after I beat this up kind of in back. Hardest part of this is getting everything as neat as possible, getting the wires out of the way. So, at this point, I have my well circuit connected. And uh, I can turn the power on and test it if I want. So basically, I'm just going to repeat that for eight more circuits. And uh, it's a little tedious. I'll come back when I'm finished and we'll talk about uh, how the project's going. Okay, I'm going to illustrate one more. Uh, on this side so you can see what I'm doing a little better because I won't have to stand in front of it. So I'm going to put my furnace on circuit F. I've already got the wire cut the length and stripped so I will disconnect the breaker wire. Turn that off, turn that off. Take that breaker wire out. Get it out of the way. Put this wire in, 
speed it up here behind some things to make it a little easier to get at. A little tidier. Now we will feed it in here. Like that. And tighten it up. Now, I'm going to cut the other F wire to length so I can wire net it to this. Up there. And strip it. Get a wire nut from these number 12 wires out. Run this back in here. Behind things so it's out of the way. The hardest part of this is putting feeding the wires in. There. Take these. Do a little wrap here. Put it in the wire nut and snug it down. Get that wire nut good and tight. There we go. And furnace is hooked up, so that's all there is to it. So we'll shut it off. And I'm going to go into the other room now and turn the well and the furnace onto to line on the transfer switch so they will work again. And the furnace was on circuit F, and these are on A and B. So that's all I have to do. Okay, it's all done. I've got 10 circuits all together wired up to the uh, transfer switch. So everything that we need is uh, now hooked up to that. So all I have to do is supply power to the transfer switch and we'll be able to have backup power. And that can be done either via my existing generator or in a couple of weeks when I get it set up from a battery bank through an inverter. So. That's the transfer switch. It's not hard to wire, just kind of tedious. And the hardest part is actually feeding all the wires in and around the existing wires and making sure everything is uh, connected tight so it won't come apart. So at this point, everything works and everything is turned on and we're ready to go. So we can move on to the next step, which at this point is to buy more stuff. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you next time.